these days uh it's still pretty hot here in arizona uh we have not had any rain at all uh just a lot of humidity a lot of sweat enough sweat that i could count it as rain i think uh, i tried to get this camera in here right oop gotta mute, mute my other screen see what's going on here i didn't have time to make a video today i was i was gonna make one just kind of show how i pack and ship everything today but i kind of have a hard out today in like an hour and a half and then i knew there was no way i was gonna be able to shoot the video edit it and get it uploaded all in time before i have to head out for a doctor's appointment i've been having some crazy stuff going on with my shoulder had some injections in it like a week ago and had a one physical therapy appointment monday I have another one today so hopefully i can get this shoulder working properly. It's getting better. It's feeling feeling better than it was. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been a problem. Uh, anyway, yeah, I had a pretty good day of sales. Actually, this past week has been pretty good sales wise. Uh, the weekend was, well, you know, I don't really watch my video on Monday, anybody, but, uh, weekend was okay. I think I did like $700 in sales, but a lot of it was in a couple items. Uh, but since then, I've had, since, let's see, that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I've had five pretty good straight days of sales. Yesterday being the best. Did like 41 cents shy of $500. Dang it. $499.59 yesterday. So that's been my top day here so far this month, or at least in the last 30 days. So that was pretty good. Uh, and I sold some cool stuff here. So I figured I'd come in today. We'll pack it up and show you how it shipped out. Now, I'm only shipping out 335 worth of stuff today. Some of the stuff kind of worked into yesterday's orders. Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get going on things. I don't know if anybody's going to come in here and chat away. I'll try to check my other screen. If you're watching this uh, on the replay, thanks for watching the video, seeing what's going on. I appreciate y'all coming out and checking out the channel and uh, hanging out with me for a little bit. This shouldn't be too long. Like I said, there's a total of eight orders, and most of them are going to be pretty fast packs. Plus, I kind of pre-prep some stuff, so it's not going to take forever. Hoping to get in and out in 30 minutes. Do you think I can do it? think I can do eight orders in 30 minutes and stay focused and not uh, chat away? All right, we're going to do some cards first. Cards are always the easiest for me to get done first. I'm going to have to put my glasses on for a lot of it because I can't even read what the heck is on these invoices. I always talk about it. I do include an invoice with each one of the items that I sell. Right, thanks on each one of them. Now, this is a Ken Griffey Jr. insert card. Pretty cool one. It's like on an like an acetate, sort of like a clear material. Right here, Donruss Dominate, not Donruss Dominators, Diamond Dominators from Sports Illustrated. Uh, they made a set in like 1999. Pretty cool. There you go. You can see right there. It's a great looking card. Uh, this one for 20 bucks. 20 bucks plus shipping. Now, I could ship it out eBay standard envelope, but I charge $4 for this one. Right, sometimes at that $20 mark, I don't always like to do the do the cheaper shipping. Sometimes I like to do the, the bubble mailer thing. So that's what I did on this one. There's no, no rhyme or reason to it per se. Just, uh, I don't know, I guess I, that's what I chose that day. Um, but let's see, where's this one going to go? Most of you know I'm in Arizona. Diamondbacks hat. They actually won last night. Finally, they've been playing terribly. This is going to uh, New York. Gansevoort, New York. Gansevoort. Never heard of it, but it's in New York. So we're going to have pretty much like max shipping costs to go all the way across the, uh, the country like that, but it's only a two ounce package, $4.13. So it's still pretty cheap. I always charge $4 shipping when I'm shipping a single card if I'm going to do it in a bubble mailer. Some people will charge 5 Some people will do exact shipping. I just charge 4 Most of the time it's right around the price, and I'm not worried about a few cents either way. Uh, but yeah, I got the Rolo on the desk still. Still been going good. I've watched a couple of videos recently, people talking about their Rolos and uh, not liking them or having some problems with them. So far, I've had it for... I don't know when it was earlier this year that I got it. I don't remember the exact one. I'd have to go find the video. But it's probably been, what, six months? I've already burned through my first uh, pack of free labels they they gave with it. And I bought a couple more. But there it is. One down. One down out of eight. So, like I said, this is going to be relatively quick. At least I hope so. Yeah, yeah, Kevin, we've been getting those too. Like, 
it seems like every morning and every night they send out a heat warning. Now it's been getting up to like 117 and humid. Yeah, it's our humidity's not like your humidity in Florida. You guys can be like what nine? It'd be like 100 degrees and 95 percent humidity or something. It's just ridiculous. It's 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 actually I think that is worse than the, than the 117 and a little bit humid here. Uh, but yeah, luckily it's supposed to get down cool over the next, I think over the weekend and stuff. And hopefully, hopefully we can get some rain. That would be nice. We need it. All right, let me make sure I got the right card. All right, next up, D'Angelo Russell. Sig signature Knights autograph card from 2016-2017 uh, uh, with the Lakers in that picture. This one also sold for 20 bucks. Uh, but this one, oh, actually, no, I did do a bubble mailer on this one too. So luckily I have two bubble mailers in here. I don't know if D'Angelo Russell, uh, I, I honestly, I know next to nothing about D'Angelo Russell. If he wasn't in the Lakers uniform on this card, I wouldn't be able to tell you that he played for the Lakers. I don't know when he still, where he plays for these days. I'm sure I could look it up. What fun would that be? I'll just wait for someone in the comments, Jeff, to uh, tell me where D'Angelo Russell plays these days. Well, let's see where this one's going. This was part of uh, a big collection of cards that I bought uh, like a week or so ago. It's on my That Card Guy channel. If you want to check out that buy, it was really good. I paid about $800 for several hundred cards. Really good pickups. And uh, I've already sold a bunch of them. This one, uh, this one was one of the $20 ones. This one's going to California. Makes sense. It's a Lakers card. It's going to North Hollywood. So shipping is cheaper. I still charge that $4, but this one costs $3.75. So plus a quarter on this one. I was minus 13 cents on the last one. So overall, I'm still ahead in the shipping game today. So what's going on with everybody else? I've uh, been buying a bunch here this past week. I did my thrift haul video on Monday, I believe it was. And uh, a lot of that stuff's going out to my collectibles booth. A couple of those items actually sold and I'm shipping today. So that was nice to get a couple quick sales out of the items that I listed there. I think those are the ones that we're going to ship, ne ship next, so you'll see the ones I'm talking about. No, actually, maybe not next. I want to I ship this dude. I love this figure. I'm not like an Apocalypse fan, but look, he's got, uh, I think that's Jean Grey and, oh, why am I forgetting his name? Why am I forgetting? I know it's in the title. I forget his name. Oh my gosh. I hate when I forget stuff. Where's my description? I thought I put it in here. Dang it. All right. Wow. What's that guy saying? The guy's holding up there in the corner with a little visor and he shoots laser out of his eyes. Why am I drawing a blank on him? Ah, I know he's with the X-Men. Ah. All right, anyway, off topic. So yeah, I sold this guy. Now, this guy's got a story with it. Actually, I sold him months ago. And I think I got a little bit higher price. I think I got like 40 or $45 for him that time. And they returned it and they said that I sent them the wrong figure. Now, I don't know how I sent them the wrong figure. They saw the pictures, I gave the dimensions, I gave all the stuff about the figure. Maybe they just changed their mind, I don't know. So they sent it back, I gave them a refund. And now it took a couple months for it to resell. Now, I did have it on 25% off, but it still sold for $37.49. It's probably, what, five inches tall, something like that? Uh, so, yeah, I originally had it at, at, I think, 50. I bought it for, I think, a dollar, a dollar ninety-nine at a little local thrift store, but, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. I like that figure. Gonna need a little bubble wrap for him. The box I have is just right. This is like a six five four box, I think. We're gonna put them inside. Pack them safely. I'll see. Yep, that fits right in there. I'm just gonna put a few packing peanuts. Got my little tote of packing peanuts in here. Just don't want them to move around too much. I don't need a whole lot. 
he's not going to move. But yeah, that looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. That's just the box squeaking. It's not moving around. I broke my tape gun yesterday. It dropped and it broke the little plastic piece off the top. That's what happens with every one of my tape guns. And then when you go to stand it up on your desk, it doesn't stand upright anymore. When you tape boxes, it doesn't work like it should. It's kind of irritating. So most, most of my tape guns that I've had, I found at thrift stores. But I may need to buy a new one because I don't have a backup right now. And I just ran out of tape. I've been using the tape from uh, American Bubble Boy, this my go-to tape. Tried it out. I think I bought the 12 roll. I think that's what it was. 12 roll pack. Just to give it a shot. So I have been using one called Tape King that I bought off of Amazon. And now I've been using this. And they're both pretty similar. I, I don't notice a, a big change between the two of them. I think their specs are probably very similar with the thickness and strength and all that. But I might do a little video comparing the two. Give a price breakdown, all that good stuff. I did look at Granger because I bought some boxes at Granger recently and their tape it seemed like it was pretty expensive. So I don't think I'm gonna be buying any tape at Granger. All right, we got this one. How much do you think it's gonna weigh? I'm gonna say nine ounce, ooh, nine ounces. 8.2, look at that, I'm a genius. Round that up to nine, it's a six, five, four box. And let's see, I'll let you try a little play. Guess, guess the cost. It's going from Arizona to Texas. It's only going to Austin, Texas. It's not going very far. What do you think it's gonna cost? You're right, $4.88, good guess. You were right on with that one. Okay, I don't know if you guessed or not, but you know. So yeah, that's pretty cheap. I think I charge $5 shipping. Let's see, what did I charge? Yeah, five bucks shipping. So yeah, three items down, look at that. Three items down and we're 10 minutes in. Flying right along. All right, keep going. Let me just check my screen, see what's going on over here. All right, now the two things that sold over, well, today that I just listed. These were items that I just picked up on Sunday at the little local auction, and two of the three cars already sold. Let me just check. Yes, they are going to different buyers. So uh, there are these Jada Toys. That's the brand up there in the corner, Jada Toys. They're called Street Low Little Low Rider Series. And this one is a 57 Chevy Suburban. See it right there. See, he's got the cool rims, little, little low rider. Uh, this one sold for $19.99. So this one sold for 20 bucks. And this one here is a 70 Chevy Monte Carlo. Kind of cool, you got the gold car. Same sort of rims, all low ridered out. This one sold for 30 bucks, $30. $30 for that car. I, I guess the low rider stuff is pretty good. Uh, two of the three cars already sold, and I think the other one's listed for $30 as well. Let me see, I think I got all the labels off the box. I'm gonna read these boxes because they're uh, ones that I got for free from somebody. I could probably buy this size box for about 50 cents is my guess from Granger. But if I can get free used ones, I'll go ahead and do it. I'm picky about the uh, labels on the side that one's not coming off easy. Let's see, yeah, it's good enough. Yeah, the reason why I forgot to use this box is look at this. This thing just fits right in here perfectly. So I'm just gonna put some bubble wrap with it. Then probably put a few packing peanuts in there, just finish it out. So look at that. Looks pretty nice. Actually, I gotta make sure that I get the, uh, the right invoice for this one because there are two of them. Chevy Monte Carlo, that's the other one. Oops, I forgot to put one in with, with Apocalypse. Dang it, you guys distracted me. If you were my wife, I would say, it was your fault, you made me mess up. Now some might say, oh, you don't need an invoice in there. You, know, you, don't, you don't have to, but you should. 
So I'm going to fold this up. I'm going to cut the tape at one end. Now I probably do this one out of every, I don't know, 50 or 100 orders that I do. I forget to put the invoice in there. So we'll just kind of shove it in there. And then I'll just retape the end of the box. I'm do it a couple of times. Yes, I mess up sometimes. I admit it. It happens. All right. So now I'm going to double check this one, make sure I really didn't, don't mess up. 57 Chevy Suburban, 57 Chevy Suburban. So we're going to San Francisco. 57 Chevy Suburban. Going up there. Oh, am I going to have enough packing peanuts to get me through the day? Oh, that's going to use most of them. Nope, need a few more. It's going to use almost all my packing peanuts. I have more in the garage. I just don't really want to go out there and get them. Not while I'm in this live video with you. Now, does the sound of the tape drive you guys crazy? My wife hates it. I'm used to it, so I just sort of drawn it out. Or block it. But it is loud, and I have a little bit of a headache today. I think it's because, uh, I think I'm a little dehydrated. I played softball last night, and it was, even though we had late games last night, which means we get, our, the last game started at 9.30, so I was out there till like 10.30 at night, it was still hot. I literally just had sweat just dripping everywhere out of my hat. We lost both games, by the way. But I played good, so which is which, is, which would you rather have? Would you rather play bad and win, or would you rather play good and lose? I don't know. It's a tough call sometimes. You always want to play good, but our team is actually pretty bad this season. We're pretty bad. Last season, we won two games. Yeah. We lost both games last night, and I played good, so what can you do? This one cost four dollars and eighty-eight cents. Weighed nine ounces, eight six four box. Four dollars eighty-eight cents. All these are going UPS ground advantage. I've gotten used to saying that now. I haven't said first class on accent. UPS. U. Did I say UPS though? Did I mess up? USPS. Ground advantage. So we're going to an apartment. All right, let's stick that on the box. Find a spot on the ground for it and get ready for the next one. All right, what's going on with the next one here? We got the, uh, the other one, the Chevy Monte Carlo. Okay, I didn't mess up and shoot the wrong one or anything. Now this one's also going to California, but it's going to a different city. Where is it? Ronert Park, R-O-H-N-E-R-T Park, California. Don't know where that is. But luckily I have a second one of these boxes. It's box A1 if that matters, but yeah, it's the perfect box for these. If anybody's ever looking for cheap supplies, just ask friends and co-workers and relatives and stuff to save you their Amazon boxes for you. Just about everybody has Amazon boxes. This box seems slightly bigger. It seems to fit in there with a little extra room. I have a pack of this packing stuff in there. I'm going to use this this time instead of the instead of the packing peanuts. Yeah, this box is slightly different. Let's see. Yeah, it is a little bit. I thought I thought they were the same. It's about uh, an inch longer.
So yeah, I expect this one might weigh an extra ounce or so because the box is a little bit bigger. No, it weighs about a half an ounce more, so it's still gonna be nine ounces. Whoops, let's see if I messed up my dimensions. Ronert, Ronert, Ronert Park, California. Uh, $4.20, so I'm, I'm gonna say that that's in Southern California somewhere. San Francisco was uh, a little more expensive to ship to. So only $4.20 to ship to Ronert Park, California. You didn't know you were gonna get a geography lesson today, did you? A little one. So we shipped to Texas, two spots in California, and in New York. So we're hitting the coast today, I guess. We'll still see where the other ones go. I know I have one going to Florida. All right. Now I always peel, like when I get these boxes from friends, I always peel the labels off so it doesn't have any other address information and it gets all that other stuff off there. But sometimes it leaves a really sticky spots. So I use the stick to make sure I cover up those spots. All right, that's one, two, three. What? Five of them done already. I'm flying through this. All right, we got three to go, but I did all the easy ones first. This next one though, I sort of already did did my box, uh, my box, uh, what, uh, Frank, Frank unboxing? Jerry rigging? I don't know. All right, here's what we sold. We sold the model kit. I'm down to, I think, I think there's three model kits left out of that big collection that I bought. What's it been? Has it been a, a full year, two years? I, I don't remember when I bought it. Uh, but this one, this one's pretty cool. HMS Hood, made by Airfix is the name. So a lot of these models were like this. They were brand new inside. The stickers and instructions are down on the bottom, but they just weren't sealed. The person that I bought these from, they like to just open the box and look through the parts. It was kind of strange, but that's kind of what they did with a lot of their board games, a lot of the model kits. They just like looking at them. They didn't play them, they didn't put them together. Uh, but yeah, this is vintage-ish, I'll call it. There is no year on here, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, this one was also 25% off sale, so it sold for $18.74. I think that means I had it at like 25, 25 bucks, which was probably already lowered. I think I originally had it at 30 when I first got these, uh, and it just didn't sell. But it's in this long box, so just to show you, 18 inches long. So I'm going to custom make my own box. I kind of took, I had these ones sitting out there, and these are pretty sturdy boxes. So I kind of made my own little box right here. I'm gonna put some peanuts on the side or something. I'm gonna tape this over the thing and I'm gonna put this into a little, little poly bag. We're gonna do a little special boxing. Uh, let's see, I don't wanna run out for material, so I think I'm just gonna grab some of this. Hopefully I don't run out of bubble wrap while I'm doing this too. Put some of this down the side. side. Then like I said, we're going to tape this over the top. A lot of times for these, I'll make one, one of my little, what I always call like a burrito, or I'll just take it, take the uh, model kit. Oop, that's a little bit too long. And then I'll kind of just roll it in the cardboard. That would have worked well today too. But I had these boxes sitting there and it looked like it would work well. So that's what, that's what I'm doing. All right, so that's fairly sturdy. I don't love the tape over the top part, but we're gonna put this into a poly bag now. This is gonna probably take two poly bags. Now, I could probably just tape the heck out of it and ship it like this. But this is what we're gonna do. All right. There's one. Let's take 
the other one. Now, I don't want this bag to be slipping around on me. All right, there's two spots taped on there. This isn't cooperating. Come on, bag. And come on. Come on. You can do it. It's all right. Bag two. Now, the outer bag, I'll use a little adhesive strip to help me out. All right. And then, I think I'm just going to tape the heck out of the outside of the box. It's not going to be pretty. I'm going to tell you that. This is not going to be my prettiest pack. I'm going to use a lot of tape on this one. See, then I think we're going to go around. Can you even see what I'm doing? You can hear it. I'm sure, you're sure of that. All right, we're getting there. All right. It doesn't look too bad. It's not, I don't think it weighs a whole lot. One pound, two ounces. If I tried hard enough, I probably could have kept it under a pound. But I did charge for priority mail shipping, or at least non-first class at the time when I listed it. So let's see, one pound, two ounces. We are at, uh, what did I say, 18? 18.54. This one's going to West Palm Beach, Florida. West Palm Beach, that's where it's going. Ground Advantage, $9.88. Perfect. I charged $9.99 for shipping. It all worked out. Let's see, where's the right spot for me to put this label? I think right there. Let's see. It's gonna hold up. It's not quite as sturdy as I would like it to be, but it'll be fine. I got a cat scratching at the door. I don't know if you guys can hear it back there. She wants in. But I tried to let her in before I started, then she just went back out. That's how cats are. Let me in, let me out, let me in, let me out. All right, another one down. Two to go, three to go. You know what I didn't do? I'm messing all up today, no invoice. But you know what, that thing is taped so Shut so much, no invoice with that one. That's okay. I'm not gonna mess up these last two. That's two out of eight orders today that I messed up. I think it's because I'm talking to y'all. Not paying close enough of attention to what I'm doing. All right, next we're gonna do Wubsy. Do y'all know Wubsy? Do y'all know who Wubsy is? Yeah, if you don't have kids, if you didn't have kids in the last, uh, let's see, well, my daughter's 14 now, almost 15, and she really liked Wubsy when she was like, I don't know, two, three, four, five years old. I don't know if it's still on TV or not, but Wubsy was a show, and this is like a dancing Wubsy. So this tail moves, this thing flips, it rotates, it does all this stuff, it little, does little side bend things. Uh, yeah, and I sold it. Now... I saw this at a thrift store one day at a Goodwill, and I didn't buy it. And so I made sure the next day, because I checked the comps when I got back home. I was in a store where, like, the reception, or at least the internet doesn't work real well. So I went and uh, went back the next day to buy it. Luckily, it was still there, because I saw that they were selling for a, a good amount. I think I actually had it in my store for $50 originally. Uh, ended up selling for $37.49. I think we had something else sell for that price, because that's 25% off. 
One of my, part of my 25% off sale. Yeah. $37.49 for Dancing Wubsy. And where's it going? New York. We're only shipping to the coast today. Well, I guess New York isn't on the coast. Well, yeah. What am I talking about? Uh, it is going to Melville. Melville, New York. Yeah. I don't know uh, where that is. I don't know if that's upstate or uh, where. But uh, I found the box for it. I found a box for it. I just forgot to take off the labels. I tried to do all that hit time, and I realized I had these labels here on the side. So uh, let me peel these things off. Sometimes they come off easy, and other times I got to use the heat gun. But today, eh, not too bad. Gone. Now, these are boxes I get from my wife's work that someone, someone has, and they always have like these tamper evident tapes. Like, if it's broken, don't accept it. So, uh, I'm not using this thing. I don't want it to be confusing to the buyer. Like, why? The seal's broken. It's just Wubsy inside. So yeah, I'm gonna take this off and retake this box. What would you do? Would you retape the box? Sometimes I'll just take a marker and I'll cross over it. I've done that as well, because this is becoming more pain than it's worth at the moment. All right, we got it off on the bottom. Top's usually easier. Boom. All right, yeah, I told, told you, I saw this for $37.49 on sale. Someone's kid must really love Wubsy. I thought Wubsy was kind of annoying. Not my favorite show that I had to watch with my daughter. If I had to pick one, actually, there's two. There's two really good kid shows. SpongeBob is fantastic. I, I'm not joking. SpongeBob SquarePants is a great kid show that adults will like as well. Um, the second one was Teen Titans Go. Yeah, there, there was some funny crap in uh, in Teen Titans. So, uh, if you have kids or grandkids, those are the two shows that you can sit down and watch with them. And there's a lot of humor that adults will get and laugh at. It's pretty funny stuff. All right, I'm going to put this in a poly bag first, though. I need one of my big poly bags up here. They kind of stick together. So i got to get one of these. Do you like his hair, his little, his little rainbow hair? All right, let's keep them in here. Now, he just fits in this box. Fits in pretty good, but his tail kind of sticks up a little bit. Like, right at that level where the box is almost starting to bow just a little bit. So, I have a couple, a couple things planned here. I have some of this foam. Every time that we buy something or uh, whatever, I keep all the packing foam. Because you never know when you're going to need this stuff. So I think I'm going to put a little, some foam at the top to try to keep this thing from bending. Do I have any more paper in here? I don't have any more paper in here. All right. We're going to use some of this. And then we're going to do this. And then I got my invoice. And I think that's going to be, oh, that worked out good. That worked out pretty darn good, I think. But you don't say something to yourself. What do you think? Now there is there is the slightest little, probably can't see it, but I'll, right where that tail was, hopefully that's not gonna cause a problem. Because that tail part is like the whole key to like his dancing and spinning and 
all that stuff, and if it were to break, that would get me a return. All right, did I say this one? Florida. No, New York. Melville, New York. What's it going to weigh? Two and a half pounds? Two pounds, five ounces. Pretty, pretty close. We have a 12, 10, 6 box. What's it going to cost? Arizona to New York. A little over two pounds. Ground advantage, 1143. 1143. Just to check, let's just see what UPS was. UPS ground, 1335. So, cheaper to use the post office. Didn't used to say that a whole lot, but these days with this ground advantage, definitely save uh, a little bit of money. All right, after this, I have one left to do. And then, uh, get out of here. Stick that on there. Boom, ready to go. All right, where's the last one? Last one's right here. Tennis racket. This one is a Bobolot or Babolat, that brand right there. Kind of a cool one. Roland Garros, which I believe is the French Open. French Open? Correct me if I'm wrong. I've actually walked by. I've been to, I went to Paris once, once, a long time ago. You can't see it here, look right here. Right here. See that thing? That's the Paris Marathon. I ran in the Paris Marathon a long time ago. I would never do another marathon. That was 2004, 2003, 2003. That's a long time ago. That's like 20 years ago, but I completed it. That's what we went to Paris for. Uh, but yeah, part of it was you went by Roland Garros. That story, I knew I incorporated it in there somehow. Uh, but yeah, this, this brand of racket is really good. Don't, their youth ones don't seem to sell really well. And the youth ones, you can tell it's just smaller, uh, handles a little smaller and stuff too. This one sold, this was, uh, actually it was on promoted listings. I don't do a lot of promoted listings, but I picked a few categories that have been very slow sellers for me. That's sort of an experiment. So I picked shoes. I don't have a lot of shoes. I think I have six or seven pairs of shoes in my store. I picked tennis rackets. Uh, I think I did some clothes and maybe a few other things. I don't know if it helped. I sold this uh, and it sold for $67.49. So I believe it was also on sale. Let me see what I think it might've had originally at like, uh, yeah, I had it at, oh, I had it originally. Okay. This sold through a lot of discounts. So let, let's walk through this. I originally had it at a hundred dollars. It was on 25% off sale. So it was at $74.99. Then the other day I just went through and I gave 10% off on like all of my stuff that was available for, for offers. So they got another 10% off. So they got it for $67.49. Still great for me. I think I paid less than $10 for that. I bought two uh, Bobolat. I hate that word because I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong no matter how I say it. Bobolat or Babolat? I don't know. Uh, but uh, I bought two rackets at one store that day and they've been in my store probably for six months ish. Uh, so they didn't sell fast. Uh, but yeah, 67.49. If I paid seven, eight bucks for it to get 67, I'm still pretty happy. hundred would have been better, obviously, but yeah, I got to ship this. Uh, and for these, I, 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 mean, I can't do it in here. I need more room out in my, my kitchen is usually where I do it. Cause I take a big piece of cardboard and I literally make an outline of a tennis racket twice and then tape it together and then put that into a poly bag. If I do it really good, I don't need the poly bag, but that's usually what I'm gonna have to do. So yeah, I sold this racket for uh, 67.49. That's a pretty good sale. So that's why uh, today's sales were pretty good. Uh, you can always go to my eBay store. There's a link down below if you wanna see what's been selling for me. There's a link down below. This week has been really good. There's some cool stuff in there. Go check it out. Um, football season's coming up. You wanna see what I found over the last couple of days that's going out to my collectibles booth? See if I can pick these up in one. Oh. I have found a ton. 
Now you guys know I'm. I said this should been my thumbnail. Ah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it is football season uh, starting here. Uh, all everybody's fantasy drafts are coming up here over the next few weeks, and the season starts pretty soon. We've already had preseason games, so these should sell pretty well for me. I put them in my booth for fifteen bucks each. Uh, so we got the Ravens, we have the 49ers. I found one college one. That's Clemson. We got Seattle Seahawks, and then we got the Cleveland Browns. So yeah, quite the variety of teams here. These are just all like Franklin and Shep brand helmets. They're just like the little toy kids ones, but these sell pretty well. They look great up on your shelf. I have a couple Buffalo Bills ones over there. Most of those I paid like three and four dollars. So I put buy them for three and four bucks, and then I can put them in my booth for 15. So yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, I think I already have a Cardinals one in there. That Cardinals one has been in my booth for a long time. Do you know why? Because the Cardinals are going to be terrible this year. Uh, yeah. Uh, I did also find this. I thought this was pretty cool. I'll share it with you as well. This is an old, I say old, but I don't really even know exactly how old. This is back when they used to do like bat giveaways at baseball games. Yeah, they would never do that anymore. At least not these full-size bats like this. But uh, but yeah, it says compliments of Seattle Mariners Rainier Bank in Seattle Times. So uh, promotion for those couple, uh, the, the, the Times and the Bank, Seattle Mariners. And uh, it's this cool uh, Louisville Slugger H&B bat. Yeah, pretty cool. It's in good shape. I don't think it's broken. Vintagey. I'm gonna say 80s. What do you think? Any sports fans out there? Any sports experts? 80s. I don't think they did bat giveaways in the 90s. I don't think it's old enough to be 70s. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I'll. I didn't even check comps. I think I paid five or six bucks for this at the thrift. Can you hear my cat now? She's yelling out there at me. Yeah, she's saying, let me in. She's saying, end your stupid video and let me in your room. I need to take a nap. Yeah. Anyway, I got to get this listed. I got to get uh, that racket packed up and ready to go. And then I got to get it to the doctor's appointment and hopefully get this shoulder working properly. It's no fun having a bum shoulder or anything. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Uh, so thanks to anybody that came in and uh, hung out for a few minutes or if you're watching this later on and you watch this video. I appreciate y'all. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. But now I got to hit the button. It's always like this awkward close up thing. So I got to hit the X. And I'm just staring at the screen. And eventually I just stop talking. But I'll say thank you. Thank you.